His arms are long enough to where he can stay outside and keep doing what he was doing. Beat him on the outside. Don't lay it there for the real to hit him. Hard left hand point. by McKinney. Right hand to the body by McKinney. Herrera firing back, but his punches lacking snap at this moment. Because he's frustrated. He's never probably been in and been hit this many times this early in the fight. Kenny getting more and more aggressive. He takes a right-hand counter uppercut in return. There and now this careless. turns it around for Barrera. He can't get careless. He's getting careless, though. Barrera's making it look too easy to him, and he's getting careless. Barrera showing his counter-punching ability and then taking over. This is a fight. Folks, this is about as good as it gets. Forum crowd rises to its feet after a brilliant fourth round. That's what makes champions, baby. That's what makes champions. you got all Mike coming on the lead. Don't worry about it, Mike. How you feeling? Push him back now. Push him back. Push him back. Let's go over here. Let's push him back, back. You gotta keep hitting him to the body. Keep your hands up and throw to the body. Make sure you connect with that right hand because he is jabbing you to death here. Carrera has been flurrying at the end of the rounds like a veteran trying to steal the rounds, but I can't imagine he's fooling too many people on this occasion. Kenny to McKinney is determined to make this a last hurrah. If he goes out, it will be going out on a very, very big effort. Fight is scheduled for 12 rounds after four. Both men have made their statements. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through four rounds? Well, Larry, in the first round, I went for the power punch of Marco Antonio Barrera. But rounds two, three, and four, I really stayed with the boxer. I think Kennedy McKinney's out boxing him. I got a 39-37, three rounds to one, Kennedy McKinney. I have it two, one, and one even for McKinney. Let me say one thing. Coach Adams told Kennedy to keep pushing him back. And he telling him the right thing because Kennedy's jab is keeping Barrera off balance by keeping him going backwards. Barrera is not used to fighting going backwards. That's the powerful belief of Kenny Adams is that Barrera cannot fight going backwards. He likens this fight to Thomas Hearns against Pepino Cuevas. I wouldn't say he can't fight going back, but he doesn't do it much. Therefore, he's not as experienced at it as he is coming forward. Both fighters getting a little bit more flat-footed now as round five arrives. Kenny trying to land one of those right-hand shots that Roy's been talking about. As long as he doesn't get too close and doesn't get too used to pushing Barrera back, because Barrera will come back every now and then with something hard. Like that hook. Isn't he fighting McKinney's fight by yes. trying to jab with him? Yes, he is, and that's what McKinney should keep him doing. That's why I say he shouldn't go forward too much and get too close to him, because then they turn it into Barrera's fight. As long as they stay outside, they keep it at McKinney's fight. And that's so what McKinney far. should do. And so far, McKinney's been able to accomplish the difficult task of blocking the body shots and then coming back upstairs and establishing tempo with the jab. He's okay at this moment. Yes, he is. He's very strong at this moment. And right now, he could be, what we would say, in Barrera's head. Now McKinney turns to talk to referee Pat Russell, and Barrera takes advantage. As long as McKinney doesn't get too complacent here, and get too flat-footed, he'd be okay. Well, he might be a little distracted. I think he feels like he's had enough of the low blows, and he'd like for the referee to at least say something about it. He should wait till you go back to the corner and tell Kenny Adams to come in and say something to the ref. 
Kennedy McKinney is dangling Barrera out there on his left jab like a tassel. He's putting on a wonderful, masterful performance through five rounds. Get, give him water and sponge him down. Get, get some water now. There we go. The sponge on him now. There'll be no more after the bell. I want you to keep those punches up. Watch those shoulders throwing the shoulders inside. Explain okay, that to him. Okay. Cuidado con el hombre y los golpes bajos. Tú eres más rápido. Brenda, okay. Mike, listen to me. Double up on the jab. Find the jab. Close up. Drop the right hand out. Back with the hook. Step around to the right. You haven't stepped all the way, okay? You step around. He's there for you. Drop the right hand. Give it a good pressure. Back him up. Let's go, Coach. Sixth round of a scheduled 12. Kennedy McKinney of Memphis, Tennessee in the red trunks trimmed with gold. Marco Antonio Barrera of Mexico City in the white. You saw referee Pat Russell at the end of that round go to Barrera's corner and warn him about those blows. I like the fact that he's done that. I gotta, I gotta stop punching. Before this gets out of hand. I think within the next round or two, Guerrero should pick up the pace if he's planning on holding the title. Because right now, he's letting Kennedy dictate the pace, do just what Kennedy wants to do, and he will never beat McKinney like this. Guerrero landing a hard right and then a left hook inside. Kennedy landed a better right uppercut. fight exactly where he wants it now. Now he's not afraid to sit in. You can see what Barrera's doing. He had Barrera frustrated. And suddenly Barrera looks very tired. He's never been knocked down, but McKinney appears to be dialing him in for increasing punishment. McKinney is starting to swell around the left eye, too. And he's breathing very hard, but He's in control of this fight. I think he should just stay outside, keep control, and not rush anything. Because Marco's not going to get too tired. Excellent right hand by McKinney. Uh, this is a war. This is just a war, Roy. A backyard war. Both guys are landing shots with regularity. McKinney with a hard right hand. Oh, good hook. Good body shot. Excellent double left hook by Kennedy McKinney. Oh, they've got it going on in here tonight. I told you this was a barn burner. to get his back off the rope. Here comes Barrera, and McKinney's on his heels. But Barrera's getting tired also. Don't, don't be misled by this. Both fighters are taking a lot out of each other. Oh, good shot by McKinney. Oh, oh, both fighters are <laughs> What a trade. Keep the punches up. Keep up. Town. You've never seen a better round in a movie than the one you just saw. Did you see the number on Barrera? 113 punches thrown in a round. Bridge him out real good. Bridge real good. Spit. Spit. Okay, Marco. Mira, Marco, tú tienes que seguir. You gotta keep fighting this guy. You're, not, you're letting him off the hook. When you hit him again, let him go. He's dead. The question now is, can Kennedy McKinney 
at 30 keep up this pace? Very good question. If it's going the way it is now, I think he can. Gentlemen, of 190 punches thrown in that last round, 152 of them were power shots. This has become a street brawl. This is what Baguero has to make it into in order to win this fight. With Julio Cesar Chavez sitting at ringside, Barrera shows a Chavez-like will. This is his only way of winning this fight. If he stays outside and lets McKinney continue to box, he's going to lose the fight. 